Making contact, asleep and awake. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have been establishing contact with many of you while you are asleep. Some of you are able to perceive these interactions in dreams, and others of you are unable to determine who and what you are making contact with. We are not the only ones who are reaching out in this way to those of you who are open to these type of interactions. There are many beings and many collectives who want very much to assist humanity, and the best way that we can do that is by reaching out. We want to normalize these types of experience for all of you. We want you to all be talking to each other about the experiences that you are having. We want you to compare notes. We want there to be an open conversation about non-physical beings, orbs, extraterrestrial beings, and other supernatural phenomena. We take all of this very seriously because we are helping you make progress, and we are absolutely excited to see the next leap that you will make as a collective. We are eager to connect with you more openly in your waking states, but not all of you are ready for that type of interaction. All of you have the ability to channel, however, in order to make connection with higher frequency beings like ourselves while in a waking state, you need to ready your consciousness. You need to expose yourself to high frequency transmissions like this one on a regular basis, and in fact, this is one of the primary reasons why some of you feel so attracted to them. These transmissions are readying you for your channeling experiences, and these experiences are imminent. You cannot hold back for much longer that which is knocking at your door. There are streams and streams of energy and consciousness that want to connect with you, that want to make this a bigger party, and that want very much to invite you into the galactic family that we truly are. We are but some of the ambassadors, and we know that many of you are willing to be Earth's ambassadors, and these are very exciting times indeed. Awakening in Someone Else's Dream We have observed that many of you who are on a spiritual path, many of you who are awakened are also having a very hard time being on planet Earth. It is as though you are not in the right time or in the right space. When you take into consideration how far you have come in order to be awakened, it can seem to all of you like you have woken up in someone else's dream. This is a very common experience and it unites you and breeds the compassion that you have within you. Now you are correct that the lifetimes you have lived on other worlds have been easier and better. You have known some very wonderful lifetimes and experiences in this galaxy, and it is also true that there's a part of each of you that doesn't really want to fit in here. There's that part of you that knows you are more than just human, more than just the ego, and then there's a part of you that just wants to get on with this shift and get it over with. You can do so much more from where you are now than from any other position that you could possibly in while residing in a fourth dimensional frequency range. What you have ahead of you is going to knock your socks off. It's going to blow your minds. What you will have endured will be entirely worth it. But you don't have to wait until that shift is complete to enjoy your lives. You can be in the fourth dimension, but not of it. You can be on planet Earth and acknowledge that you are so much more than an earthling. You can embrace your humanity and your divinity at the same time, and you can fulfill your mission for being here just by being here. You don't have to fall into the model that society has given you for success in order to be a success. Just be who you are and accept all aspects of who you are, including your current location in time and space. Advanced ET Technologies We have begun to look in a particular timeline that is available to humanity, and this timeline may be of greater service to you and to the rest of the universe as well. In this particular timeline that is available to you, the human collective consciousness would continue on its current rate of evolution, and you would also receive some assistance on the physical level from extraterrestrial beings. Now many of you are certainly aware you have already received a tremendous amount of help from extraterrestrial beings. However, not only is not everyone aware of this help, but the help has not been evenly distributed among you. Some are benefiting more than others, and this was by design. You all needed a great deal of polarity to give yourselves the experience that you wanted and needed to have. And now there is a great consideration being made around leveling the playing field, so this decision is not up to us. But we are exploring it so we can make our recommendation to the physical extraterrestrials who would actually give you all the help on the physical level. You are getting more and more excited all of the time about connecting with your extraterrestrial brothers and sisters and yet there is still quite a bit of fear because of the advanced technologies that they possess. Many humans don't like the idea of beings they don't know and were unaware of suddenly joining a human collective, and they also don't like the fact that there would need to be a certain amount of trust to peacefully coexist with these beings. So if this timeline is one that you all choose together collectively, 
It will be one that forces many individuals to face those fears and to trust in the unknown. Right now, we are seeing that trusting in the unknown is quite beneficial to all of you, and so we are leaning t toward making the recommendation that you go down that particular timeline. We believe in you, and we believe in your ability to handle the fears as well as the advanced technologies. Remembering your ET heritage, we have been observing the way that the energies have been affecting you, and we must say that we are very impressed by how well you are receiving the higher frequencies that are coming your way. You are receiving from all parts of the galaxy and beyond, because you have many helpers, friends, and well-wishers out there in the stars. And when you receive their help, you become more of who you are. You are not just human, but you are also not just Pleiadian, Arcturian, Syrian, Cassiopeian, Lyran or Andromedan. You are all of the bits and pieces from all the various star systems, and you are bringing all these energies together within you, because you need strength and stability. And the best way for you to get that strength and stability is for you to become more of who you are. You are travelers. Some of you refer to yourself as wanderers and starseeds. You've been around and you've had some wonderful experiences in other parts of the galaxy. You've been in higher dimensions and past incarnations in other parts of the galaxy. And so these aspects of you are quite valuable to what you are becoming now on planet Earth. It's like you are flipping on the switches of your highest self, activating it, and downing, downloading those wonderful aspects of who you are and who you have been. When you receive, you have more to give, and you remember more of who you are. Therefore, receiving is a big part of what you have in store for you as you move forward here on your journey to the fifth dimension. You are remembering who you are by accessing who you have been, you are getting activation from all parts of the galaxy and beyond because of what we said. You need that strength and that stability to handle what else is coming your way. And most importantly, you need to be grounded there on planet Earth. You need to accept that you chose this mission for yourself and that by bringing in more from out there, you change the landscape on planet Earth. You change it for the better, of course. You are making so much progress in such a short amount of time and we could not be happier with what we are sensing in the human collective consciousness now. We are seeing you take ownership of the fact that you are the extraterrestrials that you've been seeking contact with, and yet you are also doing a wonderful job of grounding yourself there on planet Earth. Galactic Memory Codes We have been delivering codes to you within the transmission, and these codes are going to unlock within you the knowing that you have been keeping from yourselves. Some of you suspect that you have been in other parts of the galaxy. You suspect that you are a star seed or a wanderer. Some of you may even suspect that you are hybrids. But the codes that we are delivering to you within these messages are going to bring you to that place of knowing, to a place of certainty about where you have been, what you have done, and how you came to be on planet Earth. Now, like anything that is planted, these codes must be given time to germinate. They are within you now, and they are unlocking those truths. But it's not all going to happen at once. There's too much information for you to receive it all in one episode. You will be unpacking this information over time, and you will do it in a variety of ways. Some of you will see things, others will hear things. Some of you will receive the information through dreams, and others will have spontaneous memories. However it comes to you, this information will be undeniable. You may need to analyze it, but you will not question whether it is real. You will know. Clear cognizance is an underrated ability. It's hard to explain to others how you can just know something and it's less tangible, less relatable, and transmittable. But that knowing is just as real, and it can be even more satisfying than the other ways that you have obtained information. You are galactic travelers. You are from all parts of this galaxy, and you contain different energies from all across the galaxy within you. It's time for you to know that, and to experience what that means firsthand. Your World and Galactic View we have a wide variety array of experiences in our collective past, and these experiences have informed us as to what we would think would benefit the human collective. When we were physical beings, we traveled throughout the galaxy, and at times outside of the galaxy in search of new philosophies, new ways of looking at existence. We have not stopped looking just because we no longer inhabit physical bodies. But when we were physical, we had experiences similar to what you are experiencing. But, of course, ours were different because we have been on different paths. Now each of you draws from your own experiences in developing your philosophies, your approaches to life there on planet Earth, and most humans tend to cling to these philosophies. We are talking about something here that is bigger than a belief. 
We are talking about a world view or a galactic view, something that you put a tremendous amount of time, thought, and energy into. And it would stand to reason that if you had more experiences or different experiences, you would develop a different worldview. But what if you could only create experiences for yourself that fit in that worldview? What if you were only allowing yourself to experience that which you or someone else had experienced previously? How could you remedy that? Well, the first thing to recognize is that we are all one. And the next thing that you want to take note of is that if we experience something, then so do you. And that is true because we are all one. Therefore, we encourage you to stretch yourselves out beyond your normal scope of what you consider to be real. Don't just think in terms of what you or someone else has been able to experience there on planet Earth. Expand out to include all beings in the galaxy, all beings in all dimensions, or even all beings in existence, and recognize that you can widen that scope. You can allow in more experiences than you can imagine, and it is as easy as letting go of the basis for that worldview. Anything you can imagine and so much more. That is what is available to you now in this now moment. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you.